Hope. Yeah. <laughs> We're here, man. We're live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first live edition of The Copy Corner with Terry Schilling. Hey, and Dan Marzullo. Excited, Terry, to be in front of your 8 million YouTube followers today. <laughs> yeah, my 8 million for sure. But we, we're changing it up here. We're going live on YouTube, and then we're going to put it across all the other channels like we typically do on LinkedIn and Instagram. But we thought this would be a fun way um, you know, to keep, I don't know, to change things up, I guess. Right, Dan? Absolutely. And as of today, Terry, I think we should announce yeah. this. We are starting the podcast, so we will be able to actually distribute this as a podcast as well <laughs> yeah so if this is the first time you're hearing this episode and you hear us talking about going live just know that we did it live video but then we're repurposing it and putting it on uh, the podcast episode you know so you're going to get the same content that we see on the video across the podcast if that's how you decide to listen to today's episode of the copy corner and speaking of repurposing that's what today's topic is about we're talking about how to quickly increase the roi of your content by repurposing your content and Dan, I'll let you go ahead and talk about what exactly does repurposing your content mean and really what does that look like too for, uh, for a company and for a brand? Absolutely. So for repurposing, what that typically means is you start with one type of piece of content. Usually it's a blog post, right? Um, you've already put in the hard work to create this post. So you want to get a little bit more life out of it. So from there, what you can do is repurpose that into other content assets. So if there's like a really engaging paragraph that has a great point that you want to get out there, you know, take that excerpt and publish it on LinkedIn or maybe pull a quote from it, turn it into yeah. an image to make it visual for Instagram, right? So there's so many different ways that you can do that um, because you work so hard to create one piece of content. But I think so often people are like, great, I wrote this awesome meaty blog post. I published it. That was it. People saw it once and then it was gone, right? So yeah. get more ROI out of that by resharing it and re-promoting it and taking different pieces, turning, turning it into different mediums so that people can um, engage with it in, in a way that they you know, want to do it the most. Yeah, absolutely. And it kind of solves the issue and the challenge of what should I write next? What should I blog about next? What video topic should I do? You know, you can obviously have somebody else do that. There's some resources out there like Repurpose House where you can pay them to take a video clip and then they turn that into these attractive visuals that you can put across Instagram um, and Twitter and Facebook and all your marketing channels. You could get Canva yourself. And if you do an interview through Zoom, you can take that. Canva does video now where you can put it in a different post and use different templates for IGTV and Facebook and uh, Instagram on your on your grid. So there's a lot of things that you can do. And I think repurposing your content is so smart um, because let's say you have a webinar coming up and you did an interview three months ago with somebody about that specific topic. You can repurpose that to help market that new webinar. Um, and it saves you a lot of time. You're doing less effort by putting your content out there and attracting more customers to you're building more awareness this way again with less effort which leads to more leads leads to more leads leads to more sales there's a lot that goes into it and it's something that Dan and I both do uh, we've taken clips from the copy corner and put that on Instagram um, across Twitter um, I'm sure we'll use some of it to marketing our own things you know we both have virtual assistants and we have them you know kind of look at different posts that we've done YouTube videos and can we make a quick written post on LinkedIn or on Twitter. Absolutely. Yeah. I think just this video that we're doing now is such a great example of what you can do, right? We're going to take it, we're going to publish it here. We're going to turn it into a podcast. And if we wanted to go crazy, yeah, we could exactly. even, we could write this into a blog post and then share that and text from that. I mean, we could create like, you know, yeah. 20 different pieces of content from this one episode if we wanted to go nuts with it. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, I've been in a situation where I've done videos and created a content calendar and thinking like, all right, how am I going to fill this? You know, we just kind of referenced, it's like, this is such an easier way. Like I've done Q and A's and I've just edited certain clips and turned that into something with Canva where I can post, you know, a two minute clip of it and put it across channels and helps bring awareness to my guest, but also, you know, helps, you know, people see a little bit more, you know, clips and just deliver con consistent, valuable content. So, Repurpose content. It's a great way, like we said, a quick way to increase the ROI of your content, um, you know, especially if you're struggling to come up with new ideas. 
Absolutely. And beyond just yourself, if you're like, oh, I just need more content, gives your viewers yeah. more chances to see it because nine times out of 10, if you post something at two in the afternoon on LinkedIn, not everybody's going to see it. So if you can keep putting it in front of them in different ways, you're going to get more people, more eyeballs on it. Yeah, absolutely. So a quick recap too with some of the resources, Repurpose House, check them out. Canva is a great tool where you can turn you know, a quick clip from an interview into a text post. Headliner is another great tool where you can make attractive like audiograms and you can do different templates. The ones where you kind of see like the different transparency wire, like the, you know, the blurb popping in and out as you're talking. Um, so definitely recommend some of those tools too, um, as you decide to repurpose content to help, uh, yeah, to help grow your business. So that's all we got for today's episode. We really wanted to talk on this. Some people have asked us, you know, how do we come up with ideas for content? Um, I think this is a great topic and something that all of us can do easily. Absolutely, Terry. So I'm hoping that we can see more content from you guys, you know, more repurposed yeah. stuff. See how creative yeah. you can get out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are listening to this on the podcast, please rate and review. I think what Dan and I are going to do is anybody who leaves a comment and review, five-star rating, we're going to shout them out on the on the show and then back in the podcast. So we definitely want to help grow this podcast because we've had such great experience doing it on LinkedIn. And a lot of people have been responsive and they have asked, what's your podcast? They think it's a podcast from the jump, but it's not. And so now we got <laughs> it. So here we are. Absolutely. Yeah. We're all across the internet, Dan and I. <laughs> yeah. We're everywhere, man. You'll find yeah. us. <laughs> all right, Dan. Well, any, any last bits before we let, before we let everybody go and finish this episode? That's it for me, Terry. Looking forward to hearing everybody uh, following along on the podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Same here. All right, everybody. Love what you do. Proceed with passion. We'll see you however next time you watch The Copy Corner. We'll see you around. Take care. And broadcast.